I'm Ms. Artastic, and in this video art tutorial, we're going to be creating this super cute rose design. And of course, you can grab anything you want to draw with and anything to color with and join me in drawing this. As well, I just want to let you know that in June, for the whole month of June, I'm going to be releasing a video every single day. Every single day. It's going to be a June drawing challenge for all kids, all ages. Uh, you can join me just by simply showing up to the Mizzartastic YouTube channel, hitting that subscribe button, liking the videos, and uh, yeah, and just challenge yourself to draw every single day through the month of June. It's going to be super fun. It's a great way to just really get into drawing. If you've been like, oh my gosh, I really want to learn how to draw, this is your opportunity to go from here to here in a very short amount of time. I'm going to help you just by practicing drawing every day. I'm going to help you get so much better. You're going to be an expert artist by the end of June. I'm telling you. So make sure that you subscribe to the channel and join me for that. I'm so excited to do it. Um, and it's going to really help you improve your drawing skills. So we're going to be doing a whole June drawing bonanza. Um, yeah. Um, as well for more, art tutorials, make sure you visit arttastickids.com. The link is below in the description of the video. Arttastic Kids is where you can find full art lesson tutorials using a range of different art mediums. Perfect for kids at home or in the classroom. You can check it out. And my friends, grab your favorite art making mediums and join me as we draw this lovely rose. Let's make some art. This episode is brought to you by ArtasticKids.com. If you're a parent, guardian, homeschool family, or a classroom teacher looking for art lessons and resources, begin your journey by finding free art lessons, tips, advice, and more at ArtasticKids.com. All right, so we're going to be starting off our cute little rose by grabbing something to draw with, something to draw on, and of course need something to color with. Whatever you want it to be, that is cool. You grab what you like to color with, whether it's crayons or felt markers. If you want to try pastels, you do you, my lovely friend. So here we go. We're going to start off with our rose. And we're going to begin with a letter U shape. And we're going to be focusing on the flower part. We're gonna bring this side up, around, and give it a little tuck. And I like to add some organic little waves in there because of course it's a flower. They grow, they change with the wind and whatever affects them, so we'll do that. Okay, bring it down and connect to that U. Next on this side, I'm gonna bring it up around and then I'm going to go back and do a little tuck and then I'll connect it to the rest of the rose shape. Okay, from there I'm going to draw a line that comes up. So I'm going to come back onto this side over here where it kind of tucked across where there's a nice full curve. So I'm going to go up and I'm going to bring a line straight up so it comes vertically up. And then I'm gonna go over and I'm gonna add a couple waves for some rose petal texture. Okay, from this side as well, waves for rose petal texture. Bring one along the front. And then I'm gonna do a nice little spiral at the top here. You know how roses are neatly folded. And we'll add some echoes of petals. Coming off the back. And I'll probably bring this one down and tuck it under. Now there's no right or wrong way to do it. So if yours looks a little bit different than mine, that's okay. No worries, all roses should look different. Okay, I'm gonna extend this front line with a nice little wave for the frill of the petal texture. And you can always do it with this side as well. Okay, beneath the rose, I'm gonna do one letter V for a little rose leaf. And we're gonna do 
one on each side. And then I'm gonna do a nice little horizontal lens for where it's starting to curve around the back. And to add some texture to it, we're gonna draw one line down the center. Anytime you need me to pause, if you wanna rewatch, just hit that pause button and hit play when you're ready to continue. Or you can go back and rewind and watch a step as many times as you would like. Okay, next we're gonna add a stem. So I'm gonna draw two lines down for a stem. I'm also gonna have a leaf coming up, so I'm just gonna draw a nice little wavy stem line. And I'm gonna add a kind of zigzag leaf. diagonal lines up that stem. You can also add some thorns just by adding some simple horizontal lines here and there. Whatever you want. And before we continue, we're gonna make it extra cute by giving it a lovely little face. So I'm gonna draw one curving line on one side and a curving line on the other. Okay, next I'm gonna thicken up those lines. Now, if you would like to give it some eyelashes, you could totally give it some eyelashes in the corners of the eyes. Or if you don't want to, you don't have to. It's up to you. I'm gonna give it some little cheeks by drawing an oval beneath each eye. I'm gonna draw a cute little mouth by drawing a letter W. And then I'm gonna add a nice little tongue with a letter U. And of course, tongues have a nice little line down the center. So we can just add a little line to freshen it up, make it super silly. All right, Av, once you've done that, you are ready to color in your lovely rose. And of course, you can grab whatever color you would like to color with. You can make your rose whatever you want. So grab something to color with and color in or paint your rose.
and once you're done coloring, you can always add some shading using a gray. Once you're done, your lovely rose design is done. Well, that's it for this episode. Please make sure that you subscribe to the channel, Ms. Artastic. And if you create anything and share it online on social media, please, please, I would love to see it. So tag me at Ms. Artastic and I will check it out or join the community and conversation and use the hashtag, hashtag Ms. Artastic and I will check it out that way as well. And you can see what other people are creating who create with Ms. Artastic YouTube videos. Well, that's it for this episode, and I will see you in the next.